Hi fish friends, I uh, hope everyone is doing fine. Uh, today I'm going to speak about my planted tank. I call it the Mount Peace uh, because I have a peace lily here. Uh, you can see the roots coming out here. So yesterday I've done a video on how I maintain this tank and it takes me only uh, less than 10 minutes, uh, twice a month. So guys, uh, anyone who's uh, planning to put a planted tank, it's really, really not that difficult. So consider uh, doing a planted tank uh, yourself. Uh, so I'm following up with a video showing you how I have set this up. I'll describe you the main challenge uh, that I faced during the setup. Uh, that is to get this elevation without making the tank too heavy. How I uh, did that. And I'll also show you the inhabitants, the fish, shrimps and pleco. Uh, so hope you enjoy it. Bye. Okay, the much-awaited uh, mount piece, my planted tank. Uh, this is uh, without uh, CO2 and uh, I just have a very, very normal uh, aquasonic like on, on top of this. I will put uh, the description of this light in the description below. And, uh, ooh, wow, my Pleco has laid eggs. So excited, oh my god. What a moment. Wow. So I have a pair of uh, bristle nose Pleco in here. You can see the daddy, the tail there, pr protecting the cave and the other eggs inside. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I, I sp spotted a baby. Where did that go? Where did that go? Yeah, so I was looking for the fries. Looks like there are a few fries in this tank already. By the way, my bristle nose pleco has uh, bred uh, previously, but I have no time to uh, pull the fries out and take care of them. Uh, coming to the inhabitants of this tank, I have a pair of Amano shrimp. They are also called as the Yamato shrimp uh, in Singapore. There's one munching on the zucchini and uh, there's another one here I hope you can see it uh, there is also a couple of uh, my red cherry shrimp that uh, that was spotted over when I put the duckweed on top <coughs> And I have uh, 11 X-ray tetra. They are beautiful schooling fish. Plus I have six uh, golden tetra. Uh, these are beautiful uh, fish. I have a very dim light here uh, for a reason. I want to reduce the algae. I'll do a series on how to uh, reduce algae without using any chemicals uh, it's quite easy it's a trick that I found uh, and I can keep my tank without algae without maintenance for two weeks very easy to do that uh, I have a spider wood here I love spider wood and uh, I find it very easy to escape using a, a spider wood so you just attach a few anubias as you can see here and a spider wood looks like a tree. I have also uh, have uh, I also have some uh, busep uh, in this tank. This is from the from the same bunch that I uh, talked about in my earlier video where I blessed uh, the seller of this busep. He was asking for $30. I felt that $50 was the, was the right price. So I paid him because uh, he was giving up the hobby due to personal reasons. I also have uh, a pair of guppies. Uh, unfortunately, the male died. Uh, after I introduced all these rocks in this tank, uh, the pH is slightly higher, which is good for guppies. Uh, I'm still uh, trying out different parameters uh, in order to have these copies uh, survive. I love them. 
this is the female uh, pleco, the mama pleco. Thank you for laying eggs. I hope it survives. Daddy pleco busy fanning the the cave. I uh, wonder why some of the eggs are out here. Mm. But I'm sure there are more, more eggs in it. I'll keep, keep you guys updated of, uh, of how the, uh, the, the, the pleco fries develop. Uh, I had success uh, once before. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to shoot a video and share with you guys. I have a few serious stone here. And I love the wood uh, that, that I've placed here. Uh, so this will avoid uh, the stone gravel from tumbling down. And I've created a cave here that my Amano shrimp love to hide. Here you'll see the roots of uh, my peace lily. Uh, the, uh, these white ones on the right hand side they are the roots of uh, my aeroid plant I'll show you I'll show them to you in a moment's time and you can see the roots of my peace lily uh, if you guys follow uh, another youtuber by name MD fish tank uh, he has done a similar scape and uh, he has described about uh, how uh, peace lily grow uh, roots that are aquatic and non-aquatic. It's a very interesting research that I've done and found it to be true. So this plant is very very unique. So when it is non-aquatic, it has non-aquatic roots and that roots uh, you cannot over water the roots or the plant will die. But uh, surprisingly if you uh, grow them in water, develop a, they, they develop a different kind of roots and they can grow submerged in the water. My guppy love to hide here in the corner among the roots. I think she feel very safe here. So this is my peace lily plant. Uh, when I got them, uh, they, this was the only flower that uh, this plant has. Now it has uh, another five extra flower. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. <laughs> they are beautiful. I can't believe it. The first time I had this uh, 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 peace lily, it died on me within three days. It was kept uh, in a soil and I over watered it. Uh, this one has really, really grown beautifully. And these are the aeroid plants that I have. Beautiful. They were thrown away by someone uh, um, and I found them and, 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 and uh, put them here and they, they have grown amazingly. I have an Ikea light here. Uh, Ikea oh. makes uh, makes uh, lights for plant uh, they have stopped making it but uh, these lights are grows well uh, plants uh, beautifully this is the aquazonic light that i mentioned uh, it's not very bright that's what i like about it i'll put the description of this light uh, in the link below I found this light uh, very, very good to grow uh, Java fern and Java moss. And uh, uh, my Java fern and Java moss uh, died on me even when I use uh, good lights with CO2. But when I put in this particular tank under this uh, light, uh, it grew very well. And I have duckweeds on top of it. I love duckweeds. You guys know that uh, I'm a big fan of duckweeds and snail because they have an important part to play in aquarium hobby. They clean the water of ammonia, nitrite and nitrate and snails eat uneaten food. <clears throat> the jaw moss I was mentioning to you that crew well is here. 
this was covered with algae, black beard algae, hair algae, all sort of algae. After putting in this tank, uh, it's growing beautiful. For substrate, I have a mixture of uh, three kinds of uh, black gravel. You can see uh, I have a depth of uh, four to five inches and this goes all the way to the top here and a three serio rock a big piece of wood I wanted to share with you how I created this uh, uh, elevation and this was the one of the main challenge that I, I had you can see the that uh, this uh, uh, a hill is filled with uh, media bags so I have a Lika ball in them so Lika ball uh, if you know they are very light clay ball uh, used in garden so this helps me to get this elevation without putting too much weight on the tank so underneath these uh, rocks and a little bit of gravel it's all Lika ball so this is how I got this elevation. I hope I can do a few future video escaping a new tank from, uh, from step one to the final step showing you how to do this. I hope you liked my video and found it uh, informative. Um, just a reminder that if you like this kind of uh, video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This will motivate me to continue to make a video like this. Bye.